Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Scatino, aka Scat. We're going back at it today. And um, we're going to be looking at Mortal Kombat on the Xbox 360. Um, the game arrived today, um, Wednesday. The Is it the 20th today? Yeah, Wednesday the 20th of April. The game doesn't actually go on official release in the UK until the 21st, which is tomorrow. But... Um, I got the collector's edition delivered a day early. Um, I also got the standard edition for PS3 which I've been playing a hell of a lot of today. So the video you're seeing right now is literally my very first time playing on the 360 so please bear with me. Um, I am playing with an arcade fight stick. Um, it's actually the Street Fighter 4 tournament edition. Unfortunately the UK um, didn't receive the tournament edition Mortal Kombat stick over here that was for US only as far as I know but we don't get it so I play on stick anyway so what I'm just gonna do today I'm just gonna take you through a couple of the modes uh, just show you what's up try to get myself used to the game uh, playing with the stick um, I'm pretty used to playing on um, on the pad on PS3 at the moment so this is going to take me a bit of getting used to. Now I'm just checking out the Xbox Live because on the PS3 version you get to pick your um, avatar that you use for King of the Hill. But I guess in this version you just use your default one, your, your default Xbox Live avatar so that's good. So just, um, just a quick training match, a quick practice just to get used to these buttons. Um, <clears throat> I've not made too much of a big video for you today guys so you're gonna notice everything's gonna go a bit like quick time so I'm not gonna dwell on any modes too much well, as you can see just uh, trying to figure out Scorpion's moves now I pretty much am main in Scorpion at the moment um, Scorpion is definitely one of my favorite characters in the series and um, you know he, I suppose he's quite easy to play with as well so I am playing with Scorpion um, playing on the PS3 before I was also really enjoying uh, playing with Johnny Cage which is surprising because I wasn't really feeling him in the demo that was released but playing through the actual Mortal Kombat story mode you have no choice but to play with him and you know, I was getting to learn some of his moves, like linking some combos together, I was really enjoying it, so... Um, Johnny Cage is definitely someone I'm going to try and pick up in the near future. Um, but for the moment, I'm definitely just maining um, Scorpion. Just trying to get these buttons down, just trying to figure out, you know, which, e which button does what and whatnot. But like I say, th this is a training mode, and it's kind of crazy just how much content they've actually got into this game. I mean, the game supports up to four players anyway. Um, you can have four-player tag team that's offline. You know, you've got story mode, you've got the ladder, you've got the tag ladder, you've got Xbox Live, you've got um, Xbox Live and PSN, so just online. You've got the challenge tower, which is, I think which I think is like 300 challenges to go through plus you've got the crypt where you can unlock all different content like costumes and fatalities and concept art and that kind of stuff it's an absolutely obscene amount of content they've actually put into this game and all the better for it in my opinion so this is um the ladder anyway you know, your basic ladder. I'm not going to show you story mode at the moment. I might do um, later, but at the moment I just want to get a few quick matches in and get used to these buttons and just show you a bit of the uh, ladder. So as you can see, I put it on medium and I'm owning. I mean, um, playing on PS3 before, medium didn't actually start getting difficult to I think... Um, t -t -t Goro. Goro is the second to last person that you actually fight, and it starts. The game starts getting a bit cheap. 
Now, that's expected. You know, I'm not going to bitch about it. I mean, I played a lot of uh, Street Fighter 4 and Super Street Fighter 4. And the boss of that game was the same, Seth. He was cheap as shit, so, you know, I, I'm expecting no different in Mortal Kombat. But Goro is really cheap, and the very, very end boss, which is Shao Kahn, he's also very cheap. I couldn't actually beat him with the time that I had, so I'll have to go back to that. I'm kicking this dude's ass right now. Try my fatality. Nope, didn't do it. Just check out these this move list. See what the button is. So it's Y. What I must say though, I'm definitely really, really enjoying this game. Um, the reviews have been, you know, really, really positive for it. I think it's up in um, the the upper 80s on Metacritic, which is really good. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm just really enjoying it. I mean, I must admit though, playing it today, in terms of the graphics, um, you know, going through story mode and that, they actually use the in-game engine to, for the cutscenes and to be honest it doesn't look that great um, no it kind of looks pretty bad actually but that, I guess what they were trying to do there they, they just wanted everything to you know just flow into one another they, they don't want I guess they didn't want a different engine for the cutscenes and then it suddenly transitioned into a fight with a totally like, new kind of graphics engine, you know? So, I can understand where they're coming from, but also, on a, a few of the st few of the stages, like, ones that um, contain, like, fire element and that kind of stuff, um, I have noticed it looks quite pixelated, which, you know, it isn't very good. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's my TV, maybe it's the settings I've got on the TV, or... I don't know, but they, they just kind of look uh, pixelated to some of the um, so, some of the background elements that you can see. But I mean, you, you're gonna have to be sitting pretty close to the TV to actually notice it. But it's definitely there. It's definitely there. What I saw. I'm just owning the camera right now. I mean, also with um, you know playing on the fight stick, it it is a very different experience. I mean, you know, I, I felt myself when I, I, when I was playing this that you know I was able to pull off everything a lot more quicker. You know, I was able to rush him rush him down a lot quicker than I am on PS3, where I'm literally using my using my thumb to you know dash across the screen and dash back and you know. And only using my thumb to pull off moves and whatnot, so it it's a more slower process for me on the PS3 using only the control pad, where it's a lot quicker now on 360 using the um, fight stick. So I'm gonna quit out of this right now, and uh, I'm just gonna show you another mode, cause um, you pretty much get the gist of what the ladder is. So I'm gonna Scorpion. just practice out this fatality for Scorpion, see if I can get it right using uh, the fight stick. Finish him. So here we go. There we go, first try. And I got an achievement too. So I'm gonna try it again, just to see if we can lock it down. No, didn't didn't get it then. Like I say, it it's also different. Um, playing on a fight stick um, 
in Mortal Kombat than it, than it is the Street Fighter because you know Street Fighter is like I'm trying to get all this wording right about the techniques and that I mean the, there's not necessarily in this game like quarter circle moves half circle moves whereas Street Fighter it, it's like quarter circle on the fight stick press your button and you pull off a move whereas this one it is literally like directions so it's like up down left right whereas Street Fighter can go diagonally and all that kind of stuff I mean maybe it's just me maybe it's just the characters that I play with but that's just what I notice that's why I think for me playing on a fight stick and I think it's the first time I've played Mortal Kombat on a fight stick like on an arcade stick since what 95 possibly something like that it was definitely years ago um, in fact this is the very first Mortal Kombat game I've bought since I think it was um, Deadly Alliance I think that might have been the one or maybe it was another one but it was definitely back in the PS2 days I thought um, DC Universe sucked Mortal Kombat vs DC Universe that sucked so yeah but sorry to ramble on but as you could probably see I've just gone into the challenge mode and just quickly finish that one with Sonya Blade um, challenge mode is um, a very addictive mode I mean I, w I was only wanting to play like a few stages on the PS3 and I ended up going all the way up to 25 so <laughs> um, and I unlocked a trophy for that so what the, what the challenge mode is is just exactly what it is. It it gives you a, um, different types of challenges each round. Some easy, some hard. Plus it all, it also incorporates the whole test your might, test your sight, test your luck, little mini games as well. But um, like some of the challenges that you face would be um, you have to. You have to defeat this opponent without using special moves, or defeat this po defeat this opponent using only special moves. Um, you know that kind of stuff. Or some of them are seen as defeat this opponent by only using kicks because your arms have been ripped off. So proper like quirky challenges, really fun, really entertaining. But but like whilst you're going through these challenges the game is all is also teaching you how to actually play because you're learning the special moves and you're learning the combos and you're learning the fa uh, the fatalities and that kind of kind of stuff so it's definitely a lot of fun and it's definitely um worth your time to actually uh playing it but that's that see I told you I'm speeding through this video so I want to check out Xbox Live now, see if we can get a quick online match going. Probably not. But we'll see. It seems to be um, taking a pretty long while to look for an opponent. Oh, and I must say though, on the PS3 version, I won my very first ramp match with Scorpion. I kicked ass, so... Um, I didn't record anything on the PS3 but I have recorded this uh, 360 footage and after this video um, I've also recorded a video of uh, my very first King of the Hill match. Uh, King of the Hill is a really really fun um, mode that they've put in online. Kind of like Endless Battle in Street Fighter but you've got like your avatars in there, your Xbox Live avatars and you know um, you can make them do these little animations to, like cheer on the fighting and you can give the players scores at the end of the game so it's a definite um, fun little mode and again like I say I do apologise if I'm talking really fast at the moment and not trying to keep up with a video because I'm laying the commentary over it um, and like I say I'm just speeding through it but I can't seem to find a game at the moment I don't know what's up I don't know if it's um, the Mortal Kombat servers or if it's my connection but you know just before I jumped on here I was definitely getting games on PS3 so maybe uh, there's a problem in that area 
but I ain't gonna dwell on this guys um, I'm just gonna leave it at that because it looks like I'm not gonna get a game but definitely um, drop me a comment a thumbs up the video uh, and if you haven't already please 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 subscribe to me um, I really much appreciate that and if you fancy a game then you know hit hit me up on Xbox Live, hit me up on PSN I do have both versions so it's not a problem um, I also have room on my friends list if you want to send me a friend request so do what you gotta do yeah so like I say just um, add me guys and we can get some games going um, so I'm your boy Scatino and I'm out peace